eyes Mr. New Mobile here so. The Apple iPhone 12 models may be missing something we all expect them to have for sharing the details. Please subscribe followed by the bell. You can also keep up on Facebook, Twitter, and you can purchase any Samsung Galaxy phones or Apple phones by clicking the links in the description. So we have plenty more news and mostly good about the new Apple iPhone 12 good news on features, design, and of course iOS 14, but it appears it may be lacking something we would all normally expect before you get started though please like the video. If you're a fan of the Apple iPhone 12 and let me know in the comments what model you want the most. So the first use of the day is confirmation of an incredible display for the iPhone 12 premium models, with the release of all US 14, many have been able to find out information from code inside the build, of course, I was 14, brings many exciting features like widgets and khaki. I'm sure most of you saw the damage from WWDC. We've at least tested the beaters so I'm not going to go over that today. One feature that has been discovered though is a 120 frames per second, that one of the current iPhone's U60 Hz displays to this, has no doubt been put in place for the iPhone 12 Pro, and the iPhone 12 Pro Max, both premium iPhone 12s, are expected to come up with a 120 Hz display from Samsung, and this at least tells us, that it's going to be higher than 60 ICE universes also chipped in on this to say, both the 12 Pro, and the 12 Pro Max, will have a 120 Hz refresh rate. So it's looking very likely next up with the news in the iPhone 12 is can come with a 20 watts power adapter inside the packaging. This news comes from Mr. White on Twitter, and he states that it can be a 20 watt USB Type-C power delivery adapter to charge the iPhone 12. He also gives us photos, and this is an unpainted prototype of the charger, and this isn't a huge bump up from the previous 18, what fast charge and Barclays actually completely disagree with this comment, Barclays analyst said that from their analysis of the supply chain. The iPhone 12 is not going to come with a power plug of any kind, nor is it in it, with an air phone in the box. The prediction of nowhere phone was all for supply. Barclays advised the iPhone 12 is can a ship without a power adapter. It's only going to come up with the USB satellite lightning adapter in the box. Now this is the Apple can be more environmentally friendly with the packaging, and of course it would only push more sales tax was 5 or charger, which is $19 with an 18, what charger which is 29, it's a risky move, and if true, it may upset some consumers, but I guess at the same time, it may please. Many who already have suitable charges and don't now have to pay for an additional plug inside the packaging. Barclays also stated that the iPhone 12 models are 4 to 6 weeks behind production schedule, compared to last year, while well, the iPhone 12 launch will be unaffected. We may see delays in the actual release. So hopefully, regardless of the laser can have the iPhone 12 launch event in September, and this will be for all 4 models, but we may not see the more release until October for those on the detailed specs for each model of the iPhone 12. We can run through the displays as well as the rest of the hardware. If you knew where they actually hit subscribe to get right in iPhone, with an old letter supervising the display from Samsung is important to note straight off the bat that's super bright, and that means absolutely nothing. Do caught up on that, but it can be an owner display at a resolution of 2340x1080, which gives us 475 pixels per inch, and has an 8-bit color depth, with a have been rumors of all models, having a 120Hz display. Unfortunately, this model is 60Hz. Only it can be equipped with 4 GB of RAM, and a choice of 128 or 256, storage is made of an alum in your body, and of course, use the 14 Bionic with 5G, support the iPhone 12 comes with the dual camera setup on the rear, and it will, of course, be shipping with iOS 14. For those of you that want the iPhone 12 with 4 gigs of RAM and 128 storage, can be launching at $649, if you want 4 gigs of RAM and 256 storage at $749 next up with the iPhone. 12 Max to be clear, this is the Max and not the Pro Max the iPhone. 12. Max has a 6.1 inch only display this is again a Super Retina display provided by Chinese manufacturer Bo. It comes with a resolution of 2532x1170 pixels per inch and has an 8-bit color depth. We have 4 gigs of RAM and a choice of 128 or 256 storage and of course the iPhone. 12. Max is powered by the 814 Bionic chip alum in your body. It's good 5G connectivity we get another dual camera set up on the rim. For those of you that will the 128 big version of the iPhone 12. Max can be launching at $749, if you want the 256 conversion it rises to $849 next up, with the iPhone 12 Pro 12 Pro has a 6.1 inch display, so it's actually the same size as the iPhone 
12 Max and improved display and specs on the iPhone 12 Pro report is 6.1 inch Super Retina display with promotion and 10 bit color depth. The display is manufactured by Samsung and it's got a resolution of 2532x1170, which gives us 460 pixels per inch and is, of course, a 120 Hz display. The iPhone 12 Pro comes with 6 gigs of RAM and a choice of 128, 250 of internal storage of courtship with Apple's, a 14 Bionic, and the iPhone 12 Pro is 5G compatible. It comes to the stainless steel body, and on the rear, we get a triple camera setup along with a light sensor for the depth of the 128 gigs iPhone 12 Pro it's launching at $999 for 256 gigs. It's 1099 and for those that will the 512 gigs iPhone 12 Pro, it's $1299. Last but not least we have the iPhone 12 Pro Max comes with a 6.7 inch outlet display again. It's a Super Retina with promotion 10-bit color depth, and of course, it is manufactured by Samsung score resolution of 2778 x 1284, is 458 pixels per inch, and again it's a 120 Hz display. It comes with 6 gigs of RAM, and a choice of 128, 256 or 512 storages in the stainless, so the body, and the iPhone 12 Pro Max is of course, powered by the 14 Bionic with 5G support, just like the iPhone 12 Pro gets a triple camera set up on the lighter sensor for those of you that want the 128 gig iPhone 12 Pro Max is launching at $1099 for the 256 conversions, is $1199, for those ones of the most expensive, in the range of 512 gigs, iPhone 12 Pro Max is launching at a whopping $1,399. Of course, there's plenty more information on the Apple iPhone 12 can run through it all. Make sure you hit subscribe to get right into it, we're expecting to get for new iPhone 12 in the range which can be two different iPhone 12. The iPhone 12 Pro and the iPhone 12 Pro Max, we're expecting Apple to increase the display sizes on the most premium models, with those who want a smaller display is still going to have an option, reliable analyst Mindy Crow has advised that this can be to iPhone 12 versions. The small iPhone 12 is can have a 5.4 inch display, the large one will have a 6.1 inch. We then get a 6.1 inch display which is the iPhone 12 Pro, the 6.7 inch display which is the iPhone 12 Pro Max. Unlike last year. However, all models reportedly can be using display. The resolution will differ across the range. The 6.1 inches iPhone 12 will likely have a lower resolution, we're months away from the launch of the 2020 iPhones, which are expected in September or October 2020, but there are already multiple rumors about the upcoming devices. We're expecting the 2020 iPhones to be called the iPhone 12 and iPhone 12 Pro, if Apple follows the same naming scheme it used for the 2019 iPhone lineup. The 2020 iPhones will feature major updates, introducing some of the first design changes that we've seen since the iPhone X was released in 2017. We're expecting four iPhones in three display sizes which could come in at 5.4, 6.7, and 6.1 inches, X2. Rumors suggest the 6.7-inch iPhone and one 6.1-inch model will be higher-end OLED devices with triple-lens cameras, while the 5.4 and 6.1-inch models will be lower-end iPhones with dual-lens cameras and a more affordable price tag. All iPhones in 2020 are expected to feature OLED displays regardless of price, and a 120Hz ProMotion refresh rate could be included in some of the higher-end models, though that's not guaranteed due to battery life constraint Apple has released since the 4.7-inch iPhone SE. At 6.7 inches, the 2020 iPhone 12 Pro will be Apple's largest iPhone to date, which is the 6.5-inch iPhone 11 Pro Max. Design-wise, rumors suggest at least two of the new iPhones coming in 2020 will feature a significant redesign with a metal frame that's similar to the frame of the iPhone 4 or the iPad Pro. The iPhone 4 had a distinctive flat look for its stainless steel frame, which could be replicated in the new iPhones, bringing the design in line with the 2020 iPad Pro models. Rumors suggest there will be a new TrueDepth camera system that cuts down on the size of the notch on the front, though not all iPhones may feature a smaller notch, and there are rumors of a 3D triple lens rear camera system that uses a laser to calculate depth information for objects in the room, improving both photography and Arkansas capabilities. This is likely to be similar to the lighter scanner in the 2020 iPad Pro, and it will be limited to the higher-end iPhone models. 2020 will be the first year that Apple introduces 5G support in the iPhone, allowing them to rumors, all of the iPhones in the iPhone 12 lineup will feature 5G connectivity, though it's not yet clear if all models will have super-fast wave support in all countries. The iPhone 12 models coming in 2020 will use an Apple-designed 5 nanometer A14 chip manufactured by TSMC. The A14 chip is expected to bring both speed and efficiency improvements that could bring small gains in battery life. The 6.1-inch iPhone 12 Pro. 
well there are rumors of Apple removing the notch. I really can't see this happening and typical Apple fashion was still expecting a full screen display with the notch top center. It's too early for him display camera sensors, and I can't see Apple going for a poncho. They also need a time of flight sensor on the front for the 3D face to unlock, while well, Apple did this a fingerprint scanner on the iPhone 10. The report of this can be coming back in the form of an in-display fingerprint scanner. There are reports suggesting that Apple also can be increasing their refresh rates on the latest displays, while most firms have started to 60Hz displays has been changing recently, and Apple is also going to be joining this trend at this stage we don't have that can be using 90Hz, 120Hz, or even a mixture of the two. Across the range when it comes to the rear of the device we're expecting a similar camera setup to last year. The more premium model will have more cameras, Manchukuo has again advised that both the iPhone 12 Pro the iPhone 12 Pro Max can be adding time-of-flight cameras to the RAM for those unaware time-of-flight cameras slightly different technology that allows it to map 3D objects from further away. This significantly improves augmented reality applications that allow for more improved portrait-style photo and video effects, we're likely going to see slight upgrades on the other cameras of the iPhone. 12, but given the great performance and its predecessor, they will be changing things too many reports suggesting that the tumor budget models again have a dual camera setup with the iPhone 12 Pro, and the iPhone 12 Pro Max can have a court camera setup with the inclusion of the 3D depth camera. The iPhone 12 is of course can be powered by the new 814 Bionic processor. This is actually manufactured using 5nm lithography, which will bring significant improvements. There's a good chance that it will be the first 5nm chipset to hit the market. When it comes around the iPhone 12 Pro Max is expected to come with 6 gigs of RAM. The standard iPhone 12 will only have 4 this is something that I think Apple actually does well. Compared to Android manufacturers they throw in an unnecessarily large amount of memories, causing the consumer to pay for memory that for the first time ever, consumers fell, Apple did a great job in prioritizing the battery life on the predecessor, so hopefully, that's something that can continue with the iPhone. 12. What graphing batteries are still out of the question. We can expect a 5.4-inch iPhone 12 31 2000, 800 million powers 6.1 inches. It probably can be around 3,156.7 and should contain a rent of 4,300 million power battery. One thing that is a little unknown at the moment is, of course, 5G connectivity Apple are very bad when it comes to 5G, thanks to earlier issues with Qualcomm Toronto. At this stage is that something we will see in the iPhone 12 is rumored that the iPhone 12 is can have 5G connectivity. There aren't actually any leaks or reports to back that up the iPhone 12 is can be IP68 water resistant. It's of course can ship with iOS 14 when it comes to the price people wanted lower prices, and that's exactly what we getting Apple surprises. Last time they surprise us again with the iPhone, South Carolina, and now the iPhone 12 is going to be at 49, the iPhone 12 Pro 6.1 inch at 999. Finally, the iPhone 12 Pro Max 6.7 inch phone $1,099, some very reasonable prices from Apple, who have clearly been focusing on keeping the cost down. Of course, it's not all about specs, and more likely to see some new software features or improvements to the current features in iOS 14. The iPhone 12 is set to launch in September. As always, it's always around the second week they release so we can expect to see the iPhone 12 range on either the 8th or 15th September, and the iPhone 12 about 10 days. Afterward of course being so far away. These are leaks and rumors as more information comes to light. As always, though, I'd like to know your thoughts and the comments there's waiting for the Apple iPhone 12. Would you want to power brick inside the...